So if you're a user of LEGO's power function system, or you've got another LEGO item such as the Mindstorm's EV3 or even the older RCX that have their own infrared remotes, you may have run into an issue in operating outdoors with limited range. And here I have kind of a solution that should help fix that issue. And it comes in the form of these remote control extenders that you find for entertainment systems and whatnot. Now the one I've got here is a next-gen infrared remote control extender genius. Now I've got a whole separate video on how this thing works and the features about it. I'll put a link for that in the description. I'll also have a little annotation that you can click on and learn more about it. But as anyone knows, the LEGO Power Function Systems and other similar LEGO components operate through infrared. They transmit infrared light and it's picked up by the receiver and then that sends the commands to the motors. Now when you're outdoors, you have the sunlight which inhibits the infrared light from being picked up by the receiver. You've also got the lack of objects that the infrared light can bounce off of. This is what allows the system to work so well indoors. But again, outdoors, unless you're hovering over a model just a few feet, you don't have a whole lot of range. Now with this system, you can get 100 to even 150 feet of range depending on, you know, things like obstructions or whatnot in the way of the signal because this works over FM radio, because you can tell from the antenna here. Now also with this next gen thing I'd have to address that I made a custom mount and I do have building instructions on the website from LEGO Digital Designer to build this. It's kind of meant for the battery boxes being horizontal. You could just attach it like that. And as you see, you can take this in and out. It just goes in using the hooks and stays in there. Now again, since it's designed for entertainment consoles, you need to find a way to power it because it usually is supposed to be powered by an AC adapter plugged into an outlet. So in this case, I've got a 3-cell lithium polymer battery. It's 12 volts usually when it's fully charged, which is what this requires. So you got to have one of these on board or something like it that can provide power to the receiver. So let's go outside and show how this system works and how it will help increase your range. Well, we're outdoors now, and I don't have the receiver connected, so let's just see how far it goes on its normal range. And that's as far as it got. As we can see, I don't have any more control of it. I actually have to get closer to it before it picks up the signal. It's about right there it picks up the signal. <laughs> so that's kind of telling you, okay, that's about the most range you can get out here. So let's stop for a moment and hook up the infrared receiver here and see what our range increase will be. So I'm standing about where I started from and the receiver's hooked up so let's see how it works now. Good. Straight. Yeah, let's go to reverse. And as you can see, with the infrared extender attached, I've got much more range seen from here. Not slowing it down at all. Until I get stuck, that is. That's why I can get stuck in some wrenches. Back out of there. And now this is all operating from that RF extender. And bring it in here. And I'll turn this off for just a second. Here we go, they hooked up, and that's where we put our battery right in front of the other battery box. And that's how well I can see it. But when I hit the remote, there's actually a flashing light 
on the front here because again this is retransmitting the infrared signal to the receiver but as I said you know this vastly improves the range you get because there's an FM transmitter inside here that's sending a, a radio signal to that receiver and then it retransmits that as an infrared signal to the receiver so that's how we get our extended range Trying to watch on the camera here, and at the same time, it's a little difficult. 